So some of the things that we're bringing to iPhone now is it's not so much just documents on your mobile device, but we're kind of figuring out ways to get you make your documents mobile. Mm -hmm. You know, so we support editing of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Uh, it's a very feature, you know, pretty rich feature set. But how can we get more people to bring documents with them? So we've had our desktop integration. You know, you can store them locally. Uh, we have our desktop sync application. That's you know the only real way that you can transfer documents from your PC. And what's unique about that is it actually synchronizes. It's not just a way to move them over once and dump them on your phone, but it actually, if you make edits on your device and sync, it's going to update your document on your desktop. Mm -hmm. And that's just always been a top customer way to use our program from the days of the Palm. You know, cloud is good, um, but most users and especially businesses store things on their computer yeah. and they want to just transfer them over but keep things in sync. Now is uh, the desktop sync, that's on both Mac and PC? Or is it just PC? Oh no, the desktop sync's yeah, Mac and thought, PC. Yeah, okay. So and that's also, you know, especially with the iPhone being a, an Apple product, Mac's a very important um, platform for us and, and, and well, users. We're, we're doing well, uh, how, does, how does the uh, Exchange integration work? Does that work with your own uh, Exchange app? Yeah, so what we did is, uh, you know, we, we licensed Exchange Active Sync from Microsoft sure. um, several years ago with our Road Sync product. So we thought a good way to get attachments on your device, um, since you currently can't do that through the mail client, mm -hmm. is to add that specific capability. So through Exchange Active Sync, you can set up your Exchange work account, and we'll bring down any attachments that are in your inbox. Okay, so you don't, you don't. It's not a full-on mail client. You just you scrape, you look at the inbox for right. what attachments are there, and if there's something in the inbox for the attachment, you right. list it here. So okay. we kind of complement if you're using yeah. stuff. Yeah. We don't want to duplicate functionality on the Apple platform, kind of keep it as simple. But yeah. we did want to give users a way to access their attachments mm -hmm. because again, people need to work on it, send and receive files. So this gives them a way to send them through whatever mail account. What's also neat about that, and maybe it goes a little unnoticed, but in the last few weeks, Google's actually rolled Exchange Active Sync into their Google servers. Right. Oh, so now sure, you yeah. can enter you know, m.google.com as your server address in your Exchange section and get access to your Gmail right. address. Yeah. Can you support multiple Exchange accounts inside docs to go um, Currently it's one, okay. but that's one of the things that's on our roadmap is how to enhance that, especially now that we've added Google Sync. So. Yeah, so this is huge. Talk, can you talk about the Google Docs here? Uh, sure. Probably the, I mean, this is just a test account. Oh, it's a test account thing. But, so what we're doing, and we could even probably take it back to the settings and how you set it up, but you can now go in and access the cloud. So, it's not yet available, but we will be submitting it in iTunes in the next couple of weeks, which is exciting for us. Again, how, how else can people access your right. doc? Because like you said, you're a Google Docs user. But what, what's kind of significant in, in what Google's doing is they upload any type of file to Google Docs. That's right, they just added that functionality. Right, and, yeah. and that's kind of a, a, a key turning point for us because one of our strong uh, advantages with our document solution is our intact technology. So we maintain 100% of your Microsoft Office file formatting. You know, so when a lot of the, sometimes when you convert the files into the Google Docs format, you might lose some things in the conversion. But upload your files anywhere, or any type of files, actually gives you the capability to upload a native file in its original, unconverted format, mm -hmm. and now we can bring those down to the device. So it's... You know, there's there's a lot of things going on, you know, on all ends, but it, it's definitely uh, one of our focuses. If you create a, if you create a document on the iPhone, can you sync it up to Google Docs? Uh, I think so. I think you can move them. I'm not 100 percent sure okay. on creating new docs, but I, I think that's our plan. I'm not sure if it's implemented quite yet. Right. But then you can do things, you know, if you had starred files and and um, you know, essentially just running through it. I'm not sure folders is you know up and running. I think it's just kind of. But it, if you have folders stored on Google Docs, you should, you'll be able to go and browse. If you had items that are starred, you know, that, that information changes, you can star them on your device. And then the way it works, you know, you'll see here, you know, ones that have the, the brighter icon have already been downloaded okay. on the device. Yeah. Now, can, you can download, like, actual Google Docs, you know, not just stuff that's been uploaded to Google Docs, correct? If I create a doc inside Google Docs. And right. That. So you can use you can use a converted, you know, file in a Google Doc format. You can yep. upload and mm -hmm. download them. Uh, in fact, that's part of, like, any Gmail user is going to be able to do that. And then if you have a Premiere account right now is when you can actually upload native files. Okay. But so then you can, you know, get access to your PowerPoint slides. You can make, you know, a couple edits if you need to make some edits. And then that'll all when you when you close out the document and you you know if you made changes if you ask you to save your changes then it'll say hey you have a file that you've updated here there's a sync pending do you want to sync now and it'll, it'll prompt you to just automatically sync it back up to the cloud PDF stored in Google Docs very cool 
Yeah, it's any you know, it's any type of file. So it's really just a great way to kind of have remote access to your documents. And what we've done with the PDF portion is we've actually enhanced the native, you know, built-in viewers, kind of added some better page casting, faster rendering, um, more user options that you know, are requested. The one that's something a little bit more robust, like go to or find. You know, things of the sort. Sure. So that's that's actually new. We're pretty excited about because this is our first platform to support uh, the cloud. Um, it's it's big. Everyone's you know, talking about. It. We figured Google you know, was a good place to start, but yeah. then we'll also be rolling in other accounts, you know, down the line. And we'll have options in our product to actually start upselling from our basic version to some of these premium features, mm, okay. um, so that customers can get discounted pricing if they've already purchased. That's it. Yeah. So it keeps us busy, just trying to you know make sure we manage our customer requests, but also give them a way to. Um, you know, not have to buy both versions of our software when they see some of this new functionality coming to the, the premium. Um, 